I'm meteorologist Jake Derees here with your weather headlines. We're watching more shower chances today for Election Day as gusty winds continue and temperatures soar above 70 degrees possible, but sticking in the lower 70s. Let's get right to this rain, though. We saw a first batch move through early this morning as we kind of missed our neighborhoods tracking a bit more northwest. We definitely did see some of it, but by this afternoon, we're going to stay a bit more on and off again with our showers. This afternoon looks to be the best period to head out to the polls before we get into the early evening hours by around 8 p.m. More uniform showers and a possible storm. We're not tracking anything severe. We'll start to advance through our neighborhoods, sticking around through the 9 o'clock hour and the 10 o'clock hour. We'll start to see some drying out conditions by the time we pass midnight tonight. That's when a cold front will is also expected to sweep through, drying us out and cooling our temperatures, especially from what we're expecting today. We're also going to be watching wind gusts. It's going to be a breezy day today. Today we're expecting already at 7:30 a.m. this morning to have in some places areas exceed 30 mile per hour wind gusts. That's include Charlotte and Portland, whereas everyone else is in the mid to upper 20s for gusts. But by the time this afternoon comes, again, this is also just 11:30 a.m. We're already seeing areas surpassing 30 miles per hour, and in some of these thunderstorms that we could see as well, we could have areas exceed 40 miles per hour. Again, we're watching it very closely. But if you're heading out to the polls today, we're looking at again morning showers, lower 60s, warming into the upper 60s by lunchtime, breezy conditions. It's going to be more on and off again. So really the early afternoon hours looks to be the best time to head out to the polls is by dinner time. We're going to be tracking some more uniform rain showers, a possible tame thunderstorm and 70 degrees. Yes, but that'll be the final day before tomorrow. We start to cool back down highs back into the 50s, looking at 56 degrees, still a tad above average for this time of year, but we're staying dry with cloudy skies. Our next best chance for precip will be coming later this weekend overnight Saturday. This is around 11 p.m. on Saturday. You can start to see the showers move in and into Sunday morning lasting throughout the day here. This is about 5 p.m. on Sunday as we'll be starting the week on Monday dry. Here's a look at our super seven day forecast. Again, we're going to be tracking these showers for you today. A possible thunderstorm again. We're not tracking any severe weather with this system as it moves through and then we're going to be seeing dry conditions through the rest of the work week clearing conditions on Thursday and Friday overnight lows still a bit above average as well in the lower 40s as we enter this weekend. We're keeping it dry on Saturday with mostly cloudy conditions, 55 degrees as a high. And there's our next best chance for precip on Sunday, like I was talking about, a bit warmer as well, 63 degrees as a high. And heading into next week, Monday, we're looking at highs to cool down a bit, but still above average at around 58 degrees and partly cloudy skies.